Hello everybody, Salty the Hyena here. This is another build showcase vid for you guys, where I'm gonna show off my Sprint Capacitor Ravager. This is a lightly armored bot that's quite fast. You see it has a max sprint speed of 129 kilometers an hour, so it can avoid shons, and it needs all light armors for this. It also rocks four sprint capacitors and a sprint accelerator. This allows it a <laughs> this gives it a sprint cooldown of 5.2 seconds. As usual, I run EM circuits on it to uh, uh, protect myself against vulgar blasts. This is a personal preference. You're free to run whatever you like. Uh, on this particular setup, in this vid, I'm running automations on my hammers and on my manglers. Because this bot is quite squishy, but it's also quite fast. So the way I'm going to play this is um, basically stay in cover, run out, empty my clips and run back in cover. And I will shortly launch a game for you guys where I will demonstrate this particular playstyle. This is n not a good bot for holding the line, but it's n uh, also not a very aggressive bot, because it's uh, the automations doesn't. Well, it, it's not really good at dueling other ravagers. Um, it can't compete with, let's say, MMRR manglers or anything that packs a bigger punch than that. So. Well, it, it's more like a skirmisher build. In this game, uh, my opponent disconnected or something, but it's okay. I'm gonna show you that this bot is pretty decent at grinding AI. Uh, it's uh, set up for weapons, doesn't give it the biggest damage possible, but I think it kind of makes up for it by being so agile and, well, yeah. It will spend most of the time in cover. So, I wouldn't say this is my favorite Ravager. Uh, my favorite Ravager is, uh, well, I'll, I'll come back to that in another video. But this is a very, very good bot, and I think you could find this, uh, find yourself playing this in a competitive setting or find competitive find yourself competing against it in a competitive setting. Of course it's very very squishy, but as I said, this makes it very fast. And to be honest, you will be sprinting all the time. Especially if you're kind of... Um, if you only use the sprint while you need it. So uh, you will stop sprinting the minute you're safe. And then you will always have sprint available and as you can see i just pop out i empty all my weapons and i'm back in cover in like two seconds i kind of wish i had the weapons that would deal like more damage when i have all these beautiful turpices to compete against but well i'm playing the bot i have For those of you out there wondering if a capacitor ravager is the way to go, I will have to say maybe. It's a very good build. Uh, but to be completely honest, I have other capacitor bots or other capacitor ravagers that have that's not because because this has four sprint capacitors and that's pretty insane i will uh, possibly make videos with the other, other ravagers i have because i have some ravagers with three sprint capacitors or two sprint capacitors and i think i prefer them over this simply because they have more speed and agility um, i have uh, 
people in my clan that swears by the two capacitor, three sprint capacitor build. Um, personally, I kind of prefer the three sprint capacitor build. But this is like, this is personal preference and until we have a proper meta, it's kind of hard to say what's the correct choice. So build what you feel like playing. To, that, that's my best advice. Uh, at T1, sprint capacitors would probably not be very good. So um, I might make videos about good builds for T1 and T2s at some point, but there are not on. They're not gonna be out this week and probably not next week either. Lately we've experienced some problems with uh, squad versus squad uh, in cups. Well, the cup count of people in squads have a tendency to mess this up for us, so I've had to put my uh, series of competitive bot play on pause. Because, well, <laughs> when we're not fighting, I have to do something else. I've been planning on doing this series of build showcases for a while, and I just haven't gotten around to it. Plan is to uh, upload a new vid every weekday, so be sure to check back to my channel. As you can see, I'm always staying in cover here and just popping out to empty my clip and I empty my clip really, really, really fast when you have all automations on your webs. I think uh, this build is viable with other weapon setups as well. You don't have to use just uh, automations, but you should generally try and, and, and use setups that, are, uh, that have as short unload time as possible. So possibly double automation, double reinforced on the hammer and four reinforced on the manglers is a very good build or a very good setup for Ravager. Um, I will come back to this as well in other videos. The most important thing is to make sure that your hammer and your manglers are as close as possible in cycle time. Now, with cycle time, I mean uh, the time it takes to unload your weapons and the time it takes to load your weapons or reload your weapons. We're nearing the end here now. Uh, as I said earlier, my opponent in this match, he left or disconnected. I'm not sure why, uh, exactly what. Uh, it doesn't really matter, uh, but these AI are like the, mo the last AIs around, if I remember this correctly. So, this has been a build showcase of the Sprint Capacitor Ravager. It's a light skirmisher that packs a punch and it sprints all the time. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.